You want more views on eBay? You better listen in what I say. You want to move that stock around your store because you got those bills to pay. <laughs> Good morning guys, it's Mel and welcome to my channel. I had a great question this week that came through the comment section on one of my YouTube videos. How do I bring more people to view my listings? I know I only have a few, 10 to be exact, but it seems like no one is buying and I'm just not sure what to do. So the big question, how do we get more views? Well, the biggest problem I see with resellers is they keep treating eBay like it's a marketplace. Once upon a time, it was a marketplace, but it's no longer eBay is a search engine. So sometimes we can easily forget that people don't always just go straight to the eBay platform to purchase the items they wanna buy. And eBay know this. So they spend millions of dollars a year to be able to get our listings to show up on other search engines such as Google and in places like Google Shopping. Now, earlier this year, the Retail Global E-Commerce Conference was held here in Australia up on the Gold Coast. Now at this conference, they had official eBay representatives who were speaking on behalf of eBay and they stated that 40% of the clicks now that come to eBay come from external websites. Now it actually costs money to submit your listings to have them shown in the Google shopping search. And we don't have to pay for that eBay pay for that on our behalf. Part of the money that we spend on fees helps to go to that kind of cost. eBay do actually want to get as many sales as they can. And if they know that 40% of their clicks are coming from external search engines, well, they're going to pay to have their listings ranked on those search engines. I wanted to find some official numbers to give you guys some actual data. I couldn't find it for 2020, but in 2019, Paid search brought over 260 billion impressions to our listings. That is 25 million extra views that are coming to our listings every single week via external search engines. But 12% of those listings are getting rejected straight away. They are never making it to the Google platform because they don't meet the Google specifications. And I've just noticed that doll and she's really, really creepy. <laughs> I need a new spot. So guys, in a nutshell, you need to be freaking optimizing your listings so that they can get into that Google search. If your listings are not formatted for Google specifications, not eBay, Google specifications, your listings will not show up on outside search engines, which will make your views come down. Now, if you want more views on eBay, the title is the most important part. The title first, the photo second and the item specifics third. Now, Google doesn't like capitalization in your titles. It doesn't like foreign language. It doesn't like gimmicky little symbols and stuff. So stay away from all of that. So Google uses all the keywords that you put in your title to determine what products are relevant to a search. So you need to use descriptive details like brand, size, color, style, model, gender, or anything that would be relevant to the product that you're selling. And don't forget to put the most important keywords to the front of your title. Now eBay for Business have actually shared an effective title structure that they recommend to suit the Google specifications. I'm gonna put a copy of this on my screen right now and I want you to pause my video and I want you to screenshot it. After a while, it will just become second nature to you and you won't even need to think about it or need these reminders reminders, you will just start naturally writing your titles in this way. Because if 12% of listings are being rejected by Google, that's one in every eight listings, which means if you've got a thousand listings, potentially 120 of those listings aren't even making it into Google. Now I know it's boring, but your items need to be on a plain white background. So it's not actually eBay that doesn't like a white background. That's why you'll still see plenty of items that have sold that are using other backgrounds that aren't white. But the problem is Google wants a white background and it's one of the specifications for them. So by not using a plain white background, you run the risk of your item not being placed into the Google search. Now, Google also specify they like a square format photo. So I think most people use a mobile phone these days and most of the phones now, the newer phones anyway, you can change the aspect ratio on your camera setting so that it takes photos at a 1.1 ratio, which will give you a square photo. So it's pretty easy. Also, don't put any 
watermarks or any text on top of your images and don't use any collage settings that show multiple different photos in one photo. Now I just use basic plain white core flute that I buy from my hardware store but if you don't have this then don't stress too much. There's plenty of apps that you can actually buy on your phone. I know there's a good one called Bazart but eBay actually have their own built-in tool which helps you clean up the background of your photos. So by eBay even having the tool there it shows you that they're encouraging you to use a white background. Now I know a lot of us are frustrated with the item specifics and how often they keep changing and how many more we have to add these days than what we used to. Item specifics are there to help further index your listings into search. Now item specifics are required 100% when a buyer uses the left hand navigation filters to search for something on eBay or Google. If a buyer clicks on any of these item specifics in the left hand side and you didn't fill them in for your listing, then your item will not show up in the search results. Brand, size, color, those item specifics are actually organized in the order of importance to buyers. The Google shopping filters are almost exactly the same as the eBay filters. This is why eBay now has required item specifics. Those required item specifics actually match the requirements to Google. So if you include the most important item specifics into your listings, it's going to help with the visibility not only on eBay, but on Google and other search engines. Now there's lots of other important factors that will come down to you actually getting the sale on eBay. Firstly, you've got to be selling stuff that people actually want to buy. As a seller, it's going to depend on your feedback. It's going to depend on your shipping policy. There's so many other aspects that are involved in getting that actual sale. But to get more eyes on your listing and more views, you have to treat eBay like the search engine it is. Keyword the to the best of your ability so that they're words that people will actually search. Think about what you as the buyer would search if you were looking for that item. Now, if you want to see for yourself how many of your external clicks are coming from outside sources, you can check the traffic report in your seller hub. If you can't see many external clicks coming, maybe that means your listings aren't getting shown and perhaps you need to have a look at your titles and see if they need any revisions. So I'll just quickly show you how you can look up your own traffic report. Go to the performance tab in your seller hub and underneath the performance tab, there is another tab called traffic. Click on that. Scroll down until you see the graph for page views and you'll see two columns. One will say eBay, one will say external site. You'll be able to see exactly how many clicks you're getting from other platforms besides eBay. You might just be surprised. So for my personal store, I'm currently sitting on about 20% of my clicks are coming from external sites. I've actually been going through some of my old listings, fixing up titles that my virtual assistant had done that maybe weren't 100% correct. And I'm trying to get that page view up even higher. I'd love to know what you guys are sitting at. Go back, have a look at your traffic reports, and come back and tell me in the comments. I want to know what your percentage is of click-through rates that are coming from these external sites because I think it's a really good way to have a look at how well you're optimizing your own listings to get into those search rankings for other platforms. I really want you guys to start thinking of eBay as a bigger platform than just eBay itself. We need to make sure our listings are optimized for the big wide world of the web. I'm gonna end this video here guys, but thanks so much for watching and I hope you got some tips from me today. See you in the next video, bye.